Hello and welcome to another edition of Mosaic, an African American Perspective. I'm your host, Deborah Milo. On today's show, we'll be talking about Montgomery County's third annual Friendship Picnic, which is taking place the third week in September. The event brings together diverse communities to share their cultures, traditions, and faiths. With us today are Jim Stowe, Director of the Office of Human Rights, and Lisa Taylor, a member of Montgomery County's Committee on Hate Violence, which seeks to foster a better understanding and appreciation of the racial, ethnic, and social diversity of Montgomery County through community education and activities. Jim and Lisa, welcome to Mosaic. Thanks Thank so you. much for taking time to come onto the show today. You know, I imagine that your schedules are probably pretty busy in preparation for the picnic. Jim, let's start with you. I know that you initiated the first friendship picnic in Montgomery County, I think in 2013. What inspired you to develop this event for the county? It really came out of our response to, you may remember the horrendous situation that took place in Boston, Massachusetts in the Boston Marathon. I do. Bombing that took place there and took the lives of so many people and certainly crippled so many other people as mm -hmm. far as that was concerned. Mm -hmm. And so Montgomery County wanted to see a way that we could stand in solidarity with those folks from Boston, Massachusetts. And mm -hmm. so this was the way. Uh, it was an idea from our Committee on Hate Violence. Uh, Lorraine Lee Stepney is our chairperson and began to have discussions around what we could do. And members came together with some ideas and thoughts about uh, doing this kind of thing, just a chance to be in the same space and place as a community to show and share that we are the kind of community, if we were to sort of incur mm -hmm. some sort of those kind of issues or whatever concern may be, then we can in fact work through those kinds of things. And so that was our goal. And so in doing so, what we said was no program, just a chance to be in and amongst ourselves as a community across the broad scope and breadth of our diversity that make up Montgomery County. And so this is our goal and objective. And so thus was born the whole idea about the friendship picnic. Friendship picnic, you know, when I think about that, I, that's exactly the concept that I think about, you know, friendship, because like you said, it's all about bringing people together from different communities, you know, different communities of faith, everything, the whole, the total picture, the whole person, you know, communities coming together. Talk a little bit about some of the activities that's going to take place at the picnic. Because, of course, you know I'm thinking about, okay, food. <laughs> you know, good and, and, food and, and, good and all kinds of wonderful things. It is a great place to start because there will be food there. Right. And what we're trying to do also is respect various faith traditions yes. and the kind of food we're going to serve. So there will be halal food there okay. for those who may be from the Muslim community. There will right. be kosher food there for those right. who may have that particular faith belief, mm -hmm. particular Jewish community. Mm -hmm. And also those of us who have more traditional uh, kinds of meals will be that as well. I'm sorry. Uh, Name some of those. So <laughs> those kind of things will be like uh, we will have, of course, uh, traditional picnic kind of related items, exactly. you know, hamburgers yes. and hot dogs, of those course. kinds of things. Right. Uh, we'll have pizza as well for those who uh, might indulge pizza. in and, and pizza okay. and that kind of thing as well. Uh, and also a couple of curate dish, dishes that will be there. And so I think it'll be a lot of fun for a lot of people to be able to be a part of that process. So that's, that's part of it. The really exciting part for us is to engage uh, with our families. Oh, yes. Because there'll be then games for our children. There'll be rides, mm -hmm. of course, on the train that's there in, in, in uh, the Costa Park. And we're talking, by the way, Wheaton Regional Park there in Wheaton, uh, I was Maryland, about to ask of course, you where, okay. uh, here in Montgomery County. But anyway, you'll have in the train, you'll have in the carousel, they'll be open and available to persons, and those will be free rides for our, our kids. Okay. Uh, we will have then all kinds of bouncing things and, and <laughs> face painting and, and, and uh, uh, balloon twist, all kind of things that will keep our kids engaged. And the idea, obviously, is to have them engaged not only with the individual act of, entertain of entertainment, mm -hmm. but also with each other. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and then, of course, we'll have uh, music from the stage. Uh, from the time we begin at 1 o'clock in the afternoon to the time we, in fact, uh, close down for the afternoon at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We'll have entertainment then for the entire family to include things like rhythm and blues. We'll have jazz. Uh, we'll have a little reggae. We'll have some coming in also uh, from our steel drum community as well. Uh, we'll have nice. acapella. Uh, it goes on and on and on about the kind of entertainment nice. we're going to have. But all folks who are from our community mm -hmm. will engage in this process. And so it's going to be just a lot of fun. So again, there is no major program, no major speaker. This is not about that, uh, and I'm sure that uh, uh, Lisa will talk about our partnership fund, mm -hmm. but, but it's important to kind of know that there is a reason that we're doing this besides right. the issue of having the fun and then again sharing the same space and place, mm -hmm. but also the issue of unity in, in Montgomery County. And as you well know more than most, that we are in fact a very diverse community. Oh, we are. Uh, and one that represents so many different kinds of not only faith traditions, but races and cultures, mm -hmm. um, but also needs as well. 
And so this reaches out to all those segments of our community as part of the process. So a lot of entertainment, a lot of great food, and a great, great time. And we're hoping a beautiful afternoon here also. You touched on something very important, and I want to kind of expound upon that. You said needs. Yes. And I, I'm yes. glad you said that yes. because seldom times do we think about people that have certain needs within our community because, you know, let's, do, let's just be keep it, keep it honest. We want to not look at that part of it. We want to not look at those members of our community who have needs, you know, whether they be white, black, whether they be Latino, Hispanic, Asian community. You know, talk about those that have those types of needs. Well, this is why we're trying our best to have this as a free event. So mm -hmm. we're very thankful for all of our sponsoring oh, yes. partners who've come to the table to help us make this happen. Uh, certainly, uh, Metro Parks and Montgomery Parks here, I should mm -hmm. say, here in Montgomery County has been just an enormous partner of ours in this effort. Uh, of course, we've got the uh, Fund for Montgomery, who's come on board this year as a first-time oh, partner. Great. We're glad to see those great. folks. Uh, Tom Manger and our police department, mm -hmm. uh, always a big partner of mm -hmm. ours, and Absolutely. they're with us in many ways. And so those folks have really come together, help us make this happen. And so because of those reasons, we offer this as a free program for the community. So that, in fact, includes everybody. So nobody gets excluded. Everybody can have this part of their day and, and sort of a last so hurrah to the summer as we kind of close down and begin in you know, the school year in the oh, fall, yes. you know, in earnest. Uh, it's a chance then to have us all come together in this one umbrella called Montgomery County. Mm -hmm. and it's a very good and positive thing. And so need becomes something that's kind of left behind when mm -hmm. you come into the park that day good. from 1 to 5 on September the 20th. You know, you are there uh, uh, as a full-fledged member of our community as you should be. Uh, and so, therefore, those things are less important on that one day. On that one day. Uh, and so we're hopeful then that people will come out uh, and, and just be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Lisa, this seems like a really large undertaking, and I guess I can ask the question of both of you. You mentioned the partnerships, and I know those community partnerships are very crucial to the planning and the execution of this fantastic event. Um, talk about what organizations that you are partnering with and how important and critical those relationships are. Lisa, I'm going to start with you this time. So we, um, we, did, we have spent a lot of time with um, development of this, um, this, this picnic, and so we're very excited to work with different communities within uh, Montgomery County. Um, we've also asked for sponsors as well. Mm -hmm. And so we're working, we're working with the um, faith-based community as well um, from the, both the Muslim side and the Jewish side. Um, in addition to that, we are working with the Commission um, on Human Rights as well as Help me out with some others. Well, the other one, of course, is the um, Interfaith Working Group, uh, which is part of our yes. community partnership yes. uh, office, and, and, uh, and they've done an extraordinary job, too, helping us make sure we do, in fact, reach out, as Lisa has said, to the interfaith community, because that's a critically important part of what mm -hmm. we're doing on that Sunday as mm -hmm. well. Uh, and we've got some local folks who've stepped up. We've mm -hmm. got people like uh, like Costco. We've got people like Wegmans oh, who've stepped great. up uh, and been a part of this process as well. And so they keep they keep coming in slowly in terms of coming on board with us and sharing mm -hmm. the experience. Um, uh, I think that uh, uh, part of the process is trying to recognize folks at the same time, putting in the place and the position then that they can not only be a part of this mm -hmm. by helping out with the financial end of it, but we're asking them actually to come, to bring their employees. Because again, this is something we're not looking just to have your handshake and, and a check. This is right. how do we come together as also you as a business person in the community, mm -hmm. you as a company in the community that employs our, our community members mm -hmm. to all come on this day. I hope it would be at some point in time to grow this to a huge event. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we were right around 750 to 1,000, and I this did year read that. I we're did expecting read that. well over 1,000 people, the 1,500 people, to come out for this event. So it's critically important that that happens. So those are some of our partners that we have, and again, they keep coming in almost daily in terms of their response and in terms of their support. So mm -hmm. we're excited about that. This is this is such good information. And I was just, you were just saying about how the numbers that you ex had last year, uh, the, you said first year attendance, the first year attendance was around 400, That's second right. 1,000. That's and right. this year you expect to have at least 1,500 to 2,000? That's correct. I mean, what does, what does that tell you? What does that, what do you think about that? The way that it has just blown up. Well, uh, you know, one of the things we talk about often in the, uh, our meetings is this idea about uh, when we come, when the Committee on Hate Violence uh, uh, comes to your community or comes to your assistance, it's not a good thing, normally no, speaking. No, it's not a good thing. Whether right. it helps certainly be of assistance right. and to ensure then that uh, you don't feel alone in what may have happened to you if you were a victim of a hate crime, as an example, is an area that, that the committee gets involved with. Uh, one of the things that they do is they send out a letter mm -hmm. uh, that sh says to that person, you're not alone. Here are some things that we can do to, to assist you mm -hmm. and to be there for you and be there with you. So I think mm -hmm. that's the kind of thing that kind of pulls us together and keeps mm -hmm. us moving forward, as it were. So we think we've struck a nerve in terms of 
having people come out and not only acknowledge that they are not by themselves when these kind of things happen, but also when we are just together as a community. And the fact that we don't have, quote, a program, as it were. Right. Uh, this is just a chance to, again, to, to uh, enjoy yourself. And the hope would be then that beyond just the fun and those kind of things, which obviously are critical components, right. that you have a chance just to talk to somebody who doesn't mm -hmm. think like you do. It's mm -hmm. not come from the same faith belief as that an example. That doesn't look like doesn't you look or doesn't like talk you. like you. Uh, exactly. All those things are ways we're trying, again, to maybe forcing a little bit and maybe, you know, making up as we go in terms of creating the opportunity for that to happen. But at the, at the end of the day, the end result is that it's happening. We, are, we in fact, are uh, with one another. We are communicating. We are interrelating with one another. And one mm -hmm. of the big things we have sometimes so few opportunities here in our community is because of everybody's lifestyle, because people are going and coming at such a rate of speed every day. I mean, many of us uh, call ourselves the old garage clicker community. <laughs> yes. Right? We, we put, click up the door, right, we come right. to home, That's and right. we go into <laughs> our household, right. and click it going down as we shut the door going into our houses. Uh, and, and, and don't oftentimes know who the neighbor is on either side. That's very true. So the idea is this, we can do better. Here we can do can. better. And you know, so. what you're saying is true because, you know, we go in it, I like that, that, that analogy, the garage door clicker. Every day, how many times have you, think about it, how many times have you stopped to say, oh, I didn't know so-and-so was moving out. I didn't know my neighbor was moving out and someone else who may or may not look like you or talk like you is moving in. So in, in, your, in your subconscious, do you make the extension? Do you take the time to go and say, hi, my name is such and such, you know? But unfortunately, chances are we don't. You well, know? one thing we, we talk about, and Lisa may be able to comment on this as well, but this idea about how we get to a point of, you mentioned me go, go about how it sort of blew up to these numbers that we're talking about. And one of the things that we keep doing is trying to appeal to that place where we all can relate. Yes. We all can relate to our families. That's right. We all can relate to being That's in a universal. place where we all can have this opportunity to not be so engaged and, and worry about a schedule at that point in time. Because again, we're talking about one to five. It's a finite period of time. Mm -hmm. um, and what's happening is that people are starting to realize that these moments are so precious in right. terms of they having are. this opportunity mm -hmm. to, to be able are. to relate in these kinds of ways where you're not worried about a lot of drama relative to where you are and safety for you know your family and, and this, that, and the other. It's a good place to be. And so we're hoping that uh, the blow up continues. Yes. We're hoping that the numbers increase. Uh, we're hoping we have more and more partners come to, uh, mm -hmm. to assist us with this program and uh, that we have a chance then to make this something very, very special that it actually already is, right. but make it even more special as we go along. And we talked about the partnership fund, so I think this would be a good time to also mention that Montgomery County does have a partnership fund, and the fund is to go to folks who are victims of, of, of incidents incidences of uh, hate and violence mm -hmm. and what we do is we want to um, communicate that to the community so that they know this is an avenue uh, we can help uh, pay for things that have been damaged as a result of issues relating to um, oh, yes. um, victim victimization and so we want the community to know um, that we are here for fun we're here for food we're here for fellowship but we're also here to give you a hand in times of need and that's something very important that we want to relate to the community you know something, this is such a great conversation. I'm looking forward to talking further about it and we're going to talk more about um, why it's important for people of all ages to participate in this picnic. And when we come back, we'll talk about that and a lot more. For those of you who've just tuned in, you're watching Mosaic, an African-American perspective. I'm your host, Deborah Milo, and I'm talking to Jim Stowe and Lisa Taylor. After a short break, we'll be back with more about the county's friendship picnic, so stay tuned. <music> If I got to go to college, oh my goodness. I like discovering new things. You get to see what works for you and what doesn't. That helps you evolve as a person. You get to make like a, a supernova of skill or talent or whatever it is. I've always wanted to go to college. I just feel like that's my destiny. My name is Queen and I am your dividend. minutes of physical activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. So keep them active and eating well every day. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov.
welcome back to Mosaic, an African-American perspective. I'm here with Jim Stowe and Lisa Taylor, and we're talking about the Montgomery County Friendship Picnic. Now, before we went to break, we were talking a little bit about, you know, the types of organizations that you're partnering, partnering with and, you know, hope to have more. And again, I can't get over the numbers, how it's increased in the past few years. That is, that's, that right there is exciting enough. It really is. But Lisa, I wanted to specifically talk about um, the role of the Montgomery County Human Rights Commission. So how does the commission work toward eliminating racism and discrimination here in the county? So for uh, I work on the Committee on Hate and Violence, and so mm -hmm. what we do is we try to do programs such as the Friendship Picnic, okay. um, and we've also had a, a, a symposium on bullying. Um, and we try to find issues that are um, very uh, ripe in the community for discussion, mm -hmm. and we like to bring folks in to kind of have a conversation about what matters to them, what can we do as a community, how can we make things better, um, and we also involve um, different parts of the community. So we, as representatives of the committee, are all volunteers, but we also are parents. We are also, oh, we yeah. have a police officer um, on our, our, our committee. Um, we also serve as citizens who vote, and we, ha we really do have an interest in making things better. And so part of our um, plan of action is to do things like the Friendship Picnic mm -hmm. um, and to solicit ideas from the community to see what, um, if any ways that we can make um, the environment more appropriate and more um, inclusive for people who are different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, uh, I heard Jim say something about um, not just the kids to be involved, or not just the adults to be involved in this, but the kids to be involved in it. Do you have a youth component with the commission that works on projects? Because you mentioned bullying. So I'm curious as to whether or not there are any young people that are, that are volunteers um, specifically that address the issue of bullying. So we do not have a specific youth component, mm -hmm. but we always welcome youth. In fact, my son is here today watching us I know, know I all about <laughs> what we do and, and how we try to make things better. And so when we have, like for example, the Friendship Picnic, we mm -hmm. do have students who are um, invited to volunteer um, so that they can also earn their SSL hours, which oh, is a program excellent. that we have. I mean, we always welcome the voice of the youth because, as you know, um, that many of them are our future, mm -hmm. um, and they have um, a certain um, insight in how to make things better, to make things different. Um, bullying is an issue that we see that's pervasive throughout the country. It is. And we do invite speakers who are from at the student level to talk about their perspective and their experiences because they are invaluable uh, and, and a, a, an asset to the community of Montgomery County. As a member of the commission, and I'm going to ask you this, what is the most um, challenging, one of the most challenging things that you've witnessed? As a member of the commission, um, I, I think the hardest part is seeing uh, when people are victims of hate mm -hmm. and violence. And so mm -hmm. um, I think that in and of itself is, is troubling because you want to think of your community. You know, we know Mo Montgomery County, we love Montgomery County for mm -hmm. what it is, but there's a lot of things that it, that we don't talk about that it isn't. You and know, that's that part of the problem. Right, and so that's one of the reasons why we have the picnic, but to see folks who've been isolated or, or targeted because of who they are, um, something they, they can't change because of what they believe, uh, those are hard. Um, we had an instance where um, profanity was written on a woman's um, driveway, um, and you know, that, that's very hurtful because she clearly wanted to be a part of a community in one part of M Montgomery County, and we, we don't like to see things like that because that's not who we are. That's right, and you know something, uh, the truth about it is, you know, we always talk about transparency, this whole issue of transparency, but at the end of the day, how transparent do we really want to be? We still don't want to address issues, even within our, the African American community, and like you and I shared about in the green room, I'm from that generation, I still say black, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We don't want to talk about issues that impact our community, you know, when it comes to race and discrimination, because we do want to believe that it's a, it's a society where we've worked hard, we know that we've, you know, our ancestors have struggled to make sure that the three of us can sit here at this table today. Absolutely. And you know, we don't want to talk about those, but you know, when we hear stories like that about people that do become victims for something like that, you know, that's really discouraging because when I look at Montgomery County, I see a cacophony of beautiful, you know, communities of all colors, of all languages, of all faiths, and that's how I may see it through my lens. But not everybody feels that way, and that is the reality. Right. But that's why the committee's here and the commission's here. We want you right. to be encouraged, because notwithstanding the fact that who you are, we care about you, and we want to make sure that there is um, um, support for you, financial and otherwise. That's mm -hmm. why we send out letters when mm -hmm. we see issues, um, and that's why we talk about um, 
you know, what are the, the forums and what are the um, venues that would be most helpful for people in the community so that there's more education about um, difference and so we can enhance and teach tolerance for others. That's right. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why we are in existence. Absolutely. Jim, Absolutely. did you want to add something to that? Well, I, th I think that you all have covered it very well. I think one of the things that we, we often find out is that um, um, uh, Dr. King talked about with us being uh, tied together by this inescapable. 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 That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, that means then, obviously, that there's no way around it. We, 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 we are, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, uh, connected. And I think the more and more we understand that, the better we become and the stronger we become as a community. Mm -hmm. But again, one of the things we got to do is just stop a little bit. Stop a little bit, take mm -hmm. some time out, and be in a position then to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. But it's such a struggle sometimes for <laughs> folks. I mean, just to make it. I mean, you're trying to, you know, uh, do the basics, put food on the table, be able then to go to and from your job if you've got a good job. Uh, and those things are really, you know, just kind of essential. And so for a lot of folks, you know, it, it, it's combining that with this other idea about how we, in fact, live in the same communities mm -hmm. and, and share some of the same interests and values and so forth. And it's often a tug of war that people go through, a constant back and forth, back and forth. So we have folks who, admittedly, would like to be engaged, would like to be in, more involved right. in setting, but just don't right. find the time enough to do that. So we, we, we have to make allowances for those kind of folks. And then other of us, as I said before, who who simply don't have it as something that's part of their main core value. Mm -hmm. You know, they're okay. Well they're okay. Said. They're okay to, to kind of be as they are and, and to, uh, you know, carry on their life in, in ways that may not include other people. I mean, you uh, actually that's have that. True. So, that's true. And so we, we've got that here. But, but again, I think part of what makes Montgomery County such a wonderful uh, county to live in is, is that we always are becoming. It's evolving. It's always at the ING, and, and, and I'm told from my earlier days uh, in, in English, I did fairly well in English, as it turns out. <laughs> but that means that the action is continuing. It's in progress. It's Correct. moving forward. Correct. Uh, and so uh, for Montgomery County, I think that's what the big hope is for those of us who do the work that we do. I think you're right. Uh, and the work that Lisa Taylor does and other people on the Committee on Hate Violence. Mm -hmm. Because we want to always be at the forefront of showing the way. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, Absolutely. Pointing the direction. Right. Uh, putting that piece out there that says from a visionary standpoint, here's what we can be. Mm -hmm. And maybe it may be ideal and a little Pollyannish, but it, it, it speaks to the fact that that's something in Montgomery County that's possible. Mm -hmm. There are counties, uh, Deborah, mm -hmm. as you well know, who, what I'm talking about, not even, not even on, on, on the radar, oh, I mean, not truly, even in, in the, you know, the whole realm of, of, of belief. That's as it right. Were. And so uh, one of the things that uh, our county executive says often, uh, Ike Leggett, he talks about if we can't do it in Montgomery County, based on all the resources that we have, all the things we got going on for ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, then there's something to be said about us. There's something to be said but, about us. But obviously, too. with those kind of resources, we can do a lot of things, and right. we're about that. Well, you know, you and I both are part of the workforce of Montgomery County, so we see a lot of the th wonderful things that go on, such as we win numerous events, or excuse me, numerous awards for a lot of the initiatives yes. that we have. And, you know, that right there is very encouraging and very positive. When I look around, you know, the landscape of municipalities, unfortunately, I don't always see, you know, a lot of what we're doing in those other areas. And that can be you know, a little daunting. It really can be. So, you know, we do work very hard in, in order to make all these things happen so that it is for the good of the whole. And I sometimes think that, um, as you said, Jim, not everyone has been, had an opportunity to be exposed to certain elements and certain things within their life, you know. And I also like, Lisa, the fact that you said something earlier that was important. You said that the picnic is representative of fellowship. And I really like that because that's what it is. It's about people coming together and fellowshipping with one another. Fellowshipping doesn't always mean from a religious standpoint. Right. It means from a societal standpoint, you know, as the social, social scientists would say in the classes I took 100 years ago. Right. <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's truly what yeah. is it, the fellowship is all about, is being able to bring people together from different walks of life to be able to share their experiences. And, Jim, you touched on that very well by saying, you want people to talk to each other. Yes, absolutely. That's critical. You know? That's critical. And I think one of the things that we want to make sure happens as well is that the interface goes beyond one to five. Right. That maybe you meet someone that right. maybe you can now have dialogue with That's in the right. coming week or the That's coming right. month. Uh, maybe there's an opportunity for family exchanges to take place. Maybe there's some mutual interest that you may mm -hmm. develop or find out uh, while you're at mm -hmm. then our uh, friendship picnic that can, again, have some carryover impact beyond the day. Uh, and so when it's all said and done, uh, our way of evaluating who we are in Montgomery County 
has got to be at a much higher level. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the idea is that to whom much is given, much is again required. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so when we get to that point in time, we're in Montgomery County, you know, our standard of who we are and who we can be mm -hmm. has got to be extremely high. Yes, it does. And we got to always, always be looking at the next level of getting better. That's the right. The next level of becoming even more and more uh, uh, accessible to every community and every person who lives in our community for the access to not only opportunities, but also a chance to be successful in Montgomery County because we are that kind of county. And so uh, whether or not we accept where we are right now, it's just for the moment. The awards you mentioned a minute ago mm -hmm. about the ingenuity and, and, and all the innovativeness, mm -hmm. for the moment. What's next? <laughs> What's how, next? How do we push the envelope even further? You know, and, and that's what we ought to be here in this county. Again, with the base we have and the resources that we have and the people, most importantly, the people who live here. Mm -hmm. Really, the sky's the limit. Mm -hmm. You mentioned earlier, too, that um, you're partnering with uh, the faith community. Yes, So you have yes. a variety. Uh, I've heard you say, uh, let's see, the Jewish community. I heard you say the Muslim community. And uh, I'm sure the Christian church community as well. Uh, absolutely. Yes. All faiths. Uh, uh, Casey Caseman is, is a person who works with us, another member of our uh, workforce here right. in Montgomery County, uh, and is involved with the Interfaith uh, Working Group as part of the, the nice. Community Partnership Office. And, and that includes a number of faiths, and they have done an enormously important job mm -hmm. in being also at the forefront of dealing with issues of hate and violence that occur uh, at a very uh, essential uh, place and, and, and position in, in the county. Okay. They're there to respond immediately to some of the crises that occur in clinical kinds of ways, they're there to offer, again, pastoral help and support, mm -hmm. uh, spiritual advancement, et cetera, and those kind of things. Uh, and as a matter of fact, have begun a process where now that the template that they have now created is now being undertaken and looked at and inspected from about, about 14 to 15 countries around the world. Oh and many my. cities in the United States, uh, they have been to the White House on a number of occasions talking about this plan and way of dealing with these crises mm -hmm. that occur in the community. And the community hate violence, uh, too, and how they pull this piece together. What we're saying is this. We don't want to be the place where these things happen and erupt. Uh, I don't mean it's in a negative way at all about our sister right. city of Baltimore, but, right. but we don't want to be in that situation. Uh, we don't want to be uh, like That's a Ferguson, right. Missouri. That's right. uh, we want to be in a place where when those things do happen, we have some opportunities for, and, and like I've talked about, to apply, to apply. these exactly. lessons learned, to exactly. apply these, this goodwill that's get created at these events that we have around the county. Mm -hmm. So when these things happen, we start there first in terms of how we fix this and move beyond the impasse to a place that's different than that. Well, you know what, this has been a fantastic conversation. Is there a website that our viewers can visit? Yes, they can go to the county's website. Okay. Uh, once you get to the county's website, www.montgomerycountymd.gov, mm -hmm. uh, they go then to the department uh, uh, icon and then pull us up as the Office of Human Rights, and you will see a big poster in the middle of that uh, uh, opening page. I've seen that Home page that will show <laughs> and share about the Friendship Picnic. It'll give all the information about times uh, uh, and, and, and so forth. Again, it's at Wheaton Regional Park, mm -hmm. 1 to 5 o'clock on, again, Sunday, September 20th. Uh, again, it's free event. Uh, that means then we'll have a chance then to see everybody there, hopefully. Uh, come out okay. after your worship service is over on Sunday. If you worship on Sunday, come on out afterwards mm -hmm. and enjoy a meal with us as part of that process. And I should tell you, too, one quick thing is the fact that we are also are pushing. This year, by the way, is the 50th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act mm -hmm. of Absolutely. 1965. And Absolutely. so we'll have voter registration there and all kinds of ways to get engaged civically okay. in Montgomery County. Fantastic. Lisa and Jim, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank Unfortunately, you. that's about all we have time for today. I'd like to thank my guests, Jim Stowe and Lisa Taylor, and encourage you viewers to attend the upcoming Friendship Picnic at Wheaton Regional Park on September 20th. I'm Deborah Milo. Please join us again next month for another edition of Mosaic, an African-American perspective. Till next time, make it a positive day.